Hey everybody, it is the Seriously Serious Show and I am with my best friend, the person that I feel like I haven't talked to in too long of a time. The one that only has finally opened up the car doors because it's a little nice outside. George Moss, everybody. Hey, what's going on? This is we need to have some sort of like fake round of applause that happens at the, after that introduction sometimes. I think. I uh, definitely we need we need a bunch of like. Yeah, just like that studio applause. Tim, can you get on that for us? We need that next week. Tim, Tim, Tim will get right Tim. on it. I think that's exactly what he wants to do. He's get the, I think he wants to do more of the hoo, 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 or something like we that. We can do that so, too. So, whatever we, whatever we can get. We start you know, playing Who Let the Dogs Out, and then that should be the theme song every week. Yeah, Who Let the Dogs Out. George, 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 George. I'll do that part. How did we even get here? I don't even... I, this is how we how, this is how we do when we just start talking we go way you know, off topic way off topic but that's the whole point because we don't even have a topic so we can go as far off the bunny trail as we can because we we're born to be on the bunny trail that's where we that's where we live i i guess we can go that way if that's what we want uh uh but no uh, i see you out uh, you were out walking outside before you got in your car it's nice finally in michigan not the way that it used to be Man, it's fantastic here in Michigan right now. I mean, it's it's not quite summer, but it's like sort of like tail. It's mid spring right now. Um, so the the trees aren't quite budding just yet, but it still looks pretty good. Um, I went on my honeymoon the week before last, and uh, I was down in Nashville, Tennessee. Everything was in full bloom. Then I came back home, and nothing was like actually there just yet. So it's kind of cool that I can kind of relive this entrance into summer twice so i'm excited about that it's pretty good it's nice outside and uh i don't have to wear a jacket so it's good the, uh, that's the way i like to uh live i like i'm a shorts t-shirt kind of guy i like the sun to be able to hit me be able to say that hi hey, wake up life is good so I, I like it i like it uh but you've had so much stuff going on right now you've been so busy Life has been crazy. What's been going on that stuff sort of ending? Can you tell us about what, how it went? Man, I feel like this whole year things have just been kind of crazy. And finally, I feel like all the... Oh, no. Sorry. Sorry he about that. Dropped the camera. He dropped me. I oh, dropped it. I could feel it. I could feel it on this side. It was so awkward. It hurt. It hurt my heart. <laughs> oh, man. No, I feel like... Uh... I feel like everything is starting to like kind of like settle in just now. At first, it was like planning a wedding, and then it was like um, moving um, with my fiance or with my wife, and now getting settled all in. Um, and then it was going on a honeymoon, and then I had this Indiegogo campaign going on for the longest time. So the Indiegogo campaign ended this past Saturday, and thanks to you guys, raised over fourteen thousand dollars, which is really really cool. Um, so gonna be going back in and getting to, getting to work on this project that i started um so i'm um, excited about that excited about going back and like and getting to the swing of things with that um but what's really cool is i feel like i'm, I'm kind of getting to this this mode of getting back to to some sort of normal um right now and last week um i got a chance to experience three different people um knowing christ for the first time and it kind of just puts things in perspective like all these projects that I had going on um, from the, the wedding to the honeymoon to the, the moving to the um, Indiegogo campaign and all these different projects. Um, last week, God is just kind of showing me, it's like, okay, all that stuff is really cool and it's a part of life, but what your life is really about is bringing people to know who I am. And I got a chance to see um, or to at least hear about on three different occasions, people coming to know Christ for the first time. And um, it's awesome. In fact, I got a text just today from one of those people and it was like saying that uh that life without uh these life with she was like life without life without knowing christ or life without being christian was like trying to dribble a football um i'm like man that makes so much sense like if you try to dribble a football it's like you can do it kind of but eventually it's like going all over the place and you're always chasing it um, and it's kind of like living life without the purpose you're designed for. Um, so it was a cool, cool story to see some new testimonies of people that came to know Christ this weekend. It just kind of gets me more excited to say, man, I've got all this, you know, all these things going on and starting to settle down. And I can really kind of focus on like my life is to bring people to Jesus. And that's what that's things all about. So I'm really excited about the stuff that's going on. 
Um, but more so excited that I got a got this um, can get back focused on, on doing that mission, bringing people to know Jesus. That's awesome. That's awesome. Because so many times so in life we don't get to experience it. I see God see working God. that way, but to be able to be a part of that, to see God work in people's lives and be able to do that. And I do love the analogy of uh, the football because you're still trying to be productive in life, but it's just not the right way. The uh, it takes uh, weird bounces. So uh, that's a great, great uh, uh, analogy right there. So. Thank and one of those people have been somebody I've been praying for for a long time. It's uh, it's actually one of my cousins, and it's one of those things. It's tough to like to really minister to your family because they know you for who you really are. So it's like you really don't get a chance to see. To really, sometimes people don't necessarily accept what you have to say when they're your family. So it's cool to see my cousin come to know the Lord and how her life has just um just been totally transformed by by the gospel. So this is really cool, man. Um, I totally agree with you, though. Families just takes on a different dynamic because they see you a different way. You talk to them yeah. in a different way. It's like different communication, uh, but you care so much about them in their soul. And you, uh, but it's just the, it, it's a different dynamic than when you're talking to even friends. It's just different. yeah. But it's cool because it's one of those things. that's just a testimony to know that God still works. It's like just continue to pray for your family because. If it's not through you, he can come and he'll, he will get to them some way. But just your prayers truly are making a difference in people's lives. So, yeah, definitely one of the things that I'm praying for my family. I'm continuing to pray that um, some more of them would come to know, come to know Jesus. So no, That's awesome. That's and, awesome. Uh, thanks for talking about that today. I do have, yeah. to, I do have to ask a little bit. Uh, what journey are you on right now? Are you waiting for your kids? Because usually when you're in the car... I feel like you're on a journey, like you're on a path of discovery. Man, what, I, what path are you on, or is your path pretty much set for you? My path is kind of set for me. <laughs> today. Uh, <laughs> one of the things, like I'm one of those type of people, and that's one of those things about getting adjusted to married life, man. I, I'm one of those people that really like to have an inventory of my time, especially when I'm at home. I want to make sure I'm doing things. That, and I typically don't volunteer or try to do a whole lot of things outside because I have so much other things going on. But my wife is like, she loves to do everything. I, I mean, anytime someone has to do anything. So it's kind of a good contrast between the both of us. But so now I'm a track coach, which is uh, the first time I'm ever coaching a track team. But we have co track practice today. She's uh, she's volunteering at the school and she was like, hey, I signed up to be a track coach. And I'm like, oh, I guess we're, I'm a track coach now too. So <laughs> gonna, <laughs> Gonna be going there, really. I mean, it, I mean, she's in there now. She's never track coached before. I've never been a track coach, but I have coached stuff before. She's a great like nurturer and a great like person that can you know encourage kids and things like that. But as far as like you know making sure the kid, she's not as strict as I am. She's very lenient. I'm more of like, hey, get here and do this. So I think we balance each other out too. So it's getting me out of the house and making me do some things that I wouldn't normally do. But uh, it's cool. It's cool. It's one of those domestic things that I got going on. But also wanted to let you know, oh, yeah, um, coming up this weekend, I'm finally getting back on the road for my first time in married life. Going to be hitting the road for five days, going over to the biggest Brat Festival in the entire country. It's called Brat Fest in Madison, Wisconsin. So if you're looking at this from Wisconsin, make sure you come and eat some brats with me over at, uh, in Madison, Wisconsin this weekend. Going to be over there performing four times all weekend long so it's gonna be fun that's what i'm saying it's always even though your yeah. plans are set it's not you're you're up in wisconsin and doing all that kind of stuff. <laughs> i can't wait until i see the first youtube video of you just losing it like you <laughs> losing it on a kid local uh local yeah. george uh, moss loses his mind oh. and some of youtube you're like throwing a kid across it's like that's how you finish that's how yeah. you finish track. All you gotta do is just put a camera on me, man. If you want to come to a track me, put a camera on. Like some someone's gonna do that. Hopefully, I don't get arrested by like smacking these kids around a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> let's hope not. Let's hope not. Uh, but uh, you do. You still have your Google campaign or uh, Google uh, Hangout tomorrow night? Actually, the Google Hangout is changing into um, we're doing Oxen Team meetings. Oh. So, uh, if you're on the team, you're invited to the, uh, it's, it's more of a private thing now, so people 
Well, there's going to be signups to be in the Oxen team now. Uh, we've been doing the Google Hangouts publicly for everybody. And now it's season S. We're going to be doing the kind of like we got some really exclusive planning things that we got going on. And um, it's going to be Oxen only, but there's going to be more opportunities for you to be involved in Oxen to sign up and, and get involved in what's going on. So I'll let you guys know more about that probably next week. Okay, sounds great. Uh, more with Oxen, more with all that kind of stuff coming up here next week. Make sure you guys stick around. George, thanks so much for joining us today. Hey, no problem. Thanks for having me again, man. I'll see you guys next week. All right. See you, George. And we'll catch you guys here after a couple songs on the Seriously Serious Show.